Thanksgiving is only two days away and due to the pandemic and unemployment, times are tough for some to enjoy the holiday. As Western Mass News reporter Leon Purvis found, one local homeless shelter is preparing more Thanksgiving meals for those in need this year compared to last. The Springfield Rescue Mission is preparing to hand out Thanksgiving meals this Wednesday. Due to coronavirus, things are a bit different, and they're anticipating a higher demand this year, more than the 400 meals they served last year. We are actually prepared to do up to 600 to-go meal boxes, so there'll be hot meals. Uh, we aren't doing a sit-down dinner, uh, but we are doing the to the go boxes, so it's a little bit different what we're doing this year. People arriving for meals between one and three on Wednesday won't be allowed inside at all. Everything will be done through drive by or walk up. We'll have uh, vehicles coming into the property. They'll enter through the main gate, give a total of the meals that they need. They'll drive around to the back side, and the meals will be there with a, a person able to put them down on a table so they can take possession of those. Over here at Friends of the Homeless, they plan to have Thanksgiving lunch on Thanksgiving, but they're keeping their volunteers just to their staff due to the coronavirus. This year is, is different. Uh, we certainly wouldn't turn, in, turn away anybody who's hungry, but the fact is we have to socially distance, we have to follow protocols, and so we expect to have a smaller dinner. Bill Miller, the vice president of Friends of the Homeless, tells Western Mass News they have nearly 250 people who live there. They typically would invite other community members, but this year they're trying to limit the numbers, but those without homes will not be turned away. We do encourage anybody who is living outdoors, to be honest, to come in. You know, we've, we've either got room or we'll get you somewhere. Friends of the homeless will serve Thanksgiving lunch on Thursday at noon. In Springfield, Leon Purvis, Western Mass News.